Fairmount Vancouver Airport. This is in Richmond, Vancouver, BC, uh, Canada area, or British Columbia. Uh, this is actually in the airport. It's a hotel. Uh, so we cross over the check-in area here. They have this little cool light thing going on. It's like waves of lights. Uh, kind of interesting looking. Once we get inside the hotel, it's kind of grand, lots of paintings, uh, big hallways, awesome views of the surrounding environment. Uh, you kind of overlook the uh, mountain range here across the airport. Um, this is just one of the dining areas with a bar. This is sitting down. Here's a menu, pick your own tea. And this is what we're gonna have. French press teapot style. I think I prefer the regular teapots. Uh, this was a bizarre spice. This is a oolong. Our high tea platter came out. This is the savory. There's some more savory, a little bit of sweet. And this is our sweet. Mm, looks pretty good. This was a plain scone with a butter and spread on it. Taste that out. Mm, looks pretty good. This is just a plain scone. Uh, it's nice and moist. Had a strawberry uh, filling on it. This is the blueberry scone. Some more blue uh, uh, paste on there. And we had some butter. Butter was really nice. Mixing the two together. Had a nice unique flavor which would uh, bring out all the flavors all together. I recommend mixing it together versus having solo. This is more of the bread again. With the butter. Again, uh, mixing the both the spread and the butter together is I think it's a better taste. This is a salmon uh one what's kind of interesting it's like rolled in a tortilla it wasn't too bad it's, it just has all the flavors just kind of packed into a, a small little bite size this is more of a fruit one has strawberries and some other stuff on it Looks like watermelon and onions. Uh, had a nice sweet flavor and a tart side to it. Uh, kind of a mixture, it was well balanced. Um, and the, kind of the crust made it all kind of tied it all together. This is a um, shrimp roll with some caviar on the side. Uh, overall it's a really nice looking presentation. Uh, had the caviar first, got that little salty uh, taste up front and then I kind of bit into it and it had a shrimp uh, buried inside. I just wish there was a bit more filling. Um, kind, of, kind of missed it the first time. Uh, it could just use a little bit more extra to give more flavor. Uh, to make a really, really nice shrimp uh, or stuffed stuff shrimp uh, appetizer type thing. This was a like a grape and um, I'm not sure what the top is, but it's like grapes on their side or tomatoes. Um, kind of interesting flavor. Um, Overall, it was just kind of nice. Uh, the top part kind of fell right off and then it left me with the uh, cherry tomatoes underneath it. Uh, it's kind of more of like a salad on a bread. Uh, overall, it's just a unique difference in taste. I wasn't expecting that uh, flavor to come out. Uh, we're on to the sweets.
This one looks like a egg yolk. It was quite surprising when we got into it. It had a bunch of mangoes inside that were really fresh. Really, really yummy. Really refreshing. Um, awesome flavor overall. Highly recommend getting. This was an interesting one. It had a much of wafer on the bottom. It had like a jello on top. And then we had a mix of rose water in the center with some more matcha in the center. Overall, very light. The uh, jello or uh, uh, gel on the side was very refreshing. Um, not really sweet. Uh, and then you can taste the rose water on top with the matcha uh, bitter underneath. But overall, really nice. This is just a chocolate ball on a stick with uh, pistachios, which is a nice deep rich chocolate. Um, not really um, dry, but it was kind of sweet, uh, very rich inside. That bite was enough to fill me up. Um, had the macaroons this is a raspberry with some chocolate covered on the bottom uh, raspberry is always a nice flavor to kind of end the dish uh, overall it's just kind of tastes tastes like raspberry in a macaroon so and then I didn't hint of chocolate on the side there to make it extra flavorful too tasty <laughs>